so okay uh, initially like it was a four day trip and uh, we uh, both um, like uh, saroja ma'am was staying with 20 other masters in one airbnb and it was too much so archana with two kids and uh, two of us and one more girl she was there in another apartment so it was little far but um, we missed the first day when uh, the day we reached um, we meditated at the lake and it was beautiful energies everybody was getting the download common messages common kind of energy experience we all had very much uh, like uh, as why I, we were driving like we flew to sacramento airport and from sacramento to mount shasta there was three and a half hour of drive and in that drive halfway done we reached the mount shasta's um boundary the region and all of a sudden i started feeling my heart chakra is opening as if something is pulling putting some cool soothing um ex- like uh, lape you know chandan or something it's like feeling so good and so deep i'm like not able to open my eyes so first half an hour one and a half hour i drove and then i sat behind and i meditated for one and a half hour i couldn't even find the time how easily it flew and then we met saroja ma and then we meditated at the lake and we all had very much divine experiences everybody was so very connected and as if like we were all destined to be there in that moment and um then we went uh, to the uh, airbnb and she was taking rest so i think it was uh, 10 pm and we were all tired of driving all day and having all that experiences we spent some time in water and then we went to the airbnb and we didn't feel like eating anything when ma'am went for sleep so we both of us uh, we went to our airbnb but that night they sat in meditation at 12 o'clock and they got the download so saroja ma got the message from the masters that we are here each one of us has a purpose to come we are all here to open our heart chakra although mount shasta is known to be a spiritual place having these mountain energies root chakras of mother earth but all of our heart was expanding you know fear and love they cannot remain together so we are expanding our heart chakra all automatically you know first two days i would say i could feel how less my energies are you know how i'm shifting like i'm like every time it's like something is squeezed out of my heart don't carry this gunk let it all ooze out and that process was continuous like if you go to mount shasta for 5 days you are blown out masters <laughs> bata rahi hu 3 days it's okay 2 days okay kyu because there's so much of energy we were both of us were almost feeling dizzy all the time we were all feeling all the head is heavy my even after coming back like it's been 5 days the whole back area the pineal gland area it was like swollen it was like uh, frozen you know void i am not taking any session not talking to anybody minimal talk just because there is no word and that zero state is so beautiful it's a very great experience for any of us to go through because in that mind that like we experience this empty mind for an hour and suppose that continue you you stay with that for four five days what it brings it brings a new personality so something major got downloaded and i can feel i was thinking i feel divine i feel good i am love i am you know i feel good before going to mount shasta trip but after mount shasta trip there is a version 2.0 and especially this time summer solstice and full moon don't meditate also just be in that open eye meditation is all the time it's like if you look at the mountain it's like showering energies from any of the place in the city if you are driving coming the mountain is coming in front of you your heart just blossoms like that you know you don't do anything you just become so amazing experience and one week before this mount rasa trip i was trying to connect why i am going there because just like two months before in sedona i went for uh, eclipse and I, it was a five day retreat i went there 
So I was not really planning for this, but something happened that made this story and we had to go. And then uh, in that meditation, one week before, I'm seeing a big mountain in front of me and trees, big trees. And this uh, lake is in front of me and I'm meditating there. And the moment I felt that, I felt the same energy as I felt in the mountains. And then I went in trance for a whole night. I went in trance. I don't remember what happened. It happened like I said in meditation evening, seven, six or seven. And next day morning, I got up. So that energy is where preparing me, although I packed my bag at 2 a.m. So same day I had to take the flight because something was resisting from inside. And then this trip happened and we went for a hike where half of the people didn't go because it was little high. Still we went and I saw we reached the same place. What I saw in my meditation, it was the most beautiful place. We sat, we meditated. And it's like, you know, if you are a meditator, you don't want anything else. It's so divine, so much divine experience. Like mountains, I was seeing energy through open eyes. And that shower is happening all the time. And then uh, we we that transition happened in first two days. And then I started enjoying myself a little bit. Still, I was feeling a little lack in love quotient because Mount Shasta is the land of all the ascended master. And we made we met like one experience she shared. I'll share his video. If you see his uh, video, you could relate his energies if you have his experiences by reading book or connecting with him. And he sang a beautiful song and I was just watching everybody's like hugging that person. And he's saying that he, this person is alchemist. Who is alchemist? People are saying, you know what? We don't know from where he comes. We don't know where does he go. But when he touch somebody, that person negativity, all negativity he takes and he gives all the positivity. So who else it could be? Right. So that's that was that was my understanding. And the next day we went again. We um, had a tour guide and we went to locations, great energy locations. Um, and the most beautiful place again, there was uh, Moria's twin flame, Amerisis. She made a beautiful garden for his beloved, for her beloved. And in that rock, I just felt so, so, so filled of love. There's no word other than love, you know. The whole land is land of love. And we meditated there just thoughtless, just thoughtless, pure energies. And I saw like from the mountains, the white pigeons are flying. Somebody shared experience. They saw a white uh, horse coming, but I saw multiple pigeons coming from the mountains. It was a great experience altogether when we were with the tour guide and that day Zubia found a contact um, that we have a new crystal bowl, singing bowl opening next day. And she was very much willing to go there. And um, next day we were all by ourselves. So one of the local masters, she was just pointing us, let's go there, let's go to this point. And we were like navigating all over and we were lost most of the time. So at, at the end, we reached a Lake Siskiyou which is a very commercial lake, but still because we were roaming whole day and we sat in meditation there and I felt like uh, not opening my eyes. Outside it was very much commercial. People are just playing, running away and things are happening. And when I'm meditating, I'm feeling okay, but I'm not feeling okay to open my eyes. And then a little bit food came and I started a little bit just eating and by the time, Zubia was very much nauseous and uh, she wanted to go away from there. Even I was not feeling very good, but I was okay managing myself. But then she said, okay, I want to go and I don't want to leave her. And uh, then we both went away and we went to this crystal singing bowl place. And there we were experimenting and all of a sudden a person from behind comes and he sits there. He starts talking and he was the messenger. He was giving us messages that why we are here and what are the, uh, the, our purpose. But he's not telling us directly you, but he's telling what he is doing. 
you know he introduced himself as i um, i do service to god i live on just donations i just work for a church i have no need you know the moment uh, there was a singing bowl and he just did a very nice sound and i said wow it's great energies and then he said oh i just received a download and i asked uh how how come then he said nothing because i am just in receiving mode i received okay then i asked how does it feel then he said when we receive we feel a lot of um, uh, electric charge on our head and then that goes all the way to the spine and that's how we get the download and there is a energy change in our existence and then our conversation started then i asked what do you do how do you do service to god and he said my job is to send love to all the humanity who does that <laughs> who is the owner of love here so what he says like when i whenever i walk on the street and i see there's a fight and there's a war or there's a you know uh, there's a uh, tight moment i just send like he's enjoying and saying love love that's what he's saying like you know in a fun way but he's saying that i transmute the energies i i bring love energies there and he started saying much more uh, about the um, angels about the parallel lives um, other dimension beings and messengers he started telling about all that and he how he is connected with higher self and he doesn't have to do anything he is just a vessel he is just uh, being and grateful and in receiving mode and his life is all what he ever wanted to do and he was very much fulfilled with all his uh, that he was doing and uh, he shared a few things uh, um, how to be in that receiving mode and then i said okay how much you know so much do you read any book or what and i was telling uh, every time my master patri ji he he used to uh, he tells us that we need to meditate and we need to read books to uh, learn this much and how do you know all this uh, have you read any book then he says i have read only one book autobiography of yogi so i was amazed to hear that he read only one book and i asked so how, how your path is so easy you are always guided and uh, you know protected he was very much alert he was never only looking into my eyes he was looking at the surroundings every moment as if he is going to get something uh, in that moment and he is very much in receptive mode and he was um, telling that i like I, in the morning i am somewhere and in the evening i am somewhere i don't know where i am where, where i will be so his work is that spontaneous he is saying but it was getting more mysterious and every time like my eyes was opening wide and i was connecting the deeper meaning or the dots whatever he was sharing just to know who that person is and he said he in my last lifetime i did so much and i don't have a uh, i didn't have to do much in this lifetime only in 2017 i got this awakening and uh, since then i am i have been doing this and if you know if i feel like just i want to eat an avocado the sweet angels they come around and they just tell it's around it's right there you just go and get it and they show me it's there with our mind challenges how we are not going to store and how can we get the uh, avocado but i i don't have to do anything things are done for me all the time and i'm i'm ever grateful in my past time i'm just grateful he was with so much energy sharing the simple thing and we meditated or uh, like uh, there was a singing bowl uh, exhibition and there was a play for 30 minutes or 45 minutes i don't remember and we all meditated together and after that he started telling that now we are in that energy whatever we will think it will happen it will manifest immediately and whoever you will think about he will come in your contact and he will uh, also was saying that uh so many such messages he shared and uh, uh, it was like a guiding light for all of us to be in the heart space and to help others one thing he also said that earth is already in fifth dimension so anybody who is vacating the body they are not dying there is no more funerals so don't think that way they are only going to the higher world because earth is only already in the fifth dimension
so there is only celebration no no funeral anymore and um he's saying that you know we need to help each other uh, to to grow there are few people who don't want to change the fear uh, of change is there so people are clinging to money people are clinging uh, to be in the same society the way they are but they don't know how the beautiful time is waiting for us and everything is here right now everything is here it's only taking initiatives by uh, by few people even and we will bring the change so it was very powerful conversation and i have a great picture with him i can share that also uh, he he had a long beard long hair like this and his eyes was was brightening and he gave a lot of tips um how to be and uh, where to be and then the third day it was again a miraculous day uh, while coming back we met a person who was just just who was radiating his energies like when i sat beside him i couldn't i couldn't sit as if he was blowing me away from him i can feel the wave of energy and i'm like holding the ground sitting beside him and then he is laughing at me and his eyes was just full of love and compassion there was nothing else like these three divine beings like they were destined to meet and there was energetic exchange in such a level that it changed my personality experiencing that unconditional love for no reason for no reason i don't know that person for no reason we are receiving love is giving love as if i'm like i met jesus you know as if like i met shiva that's how the energy is where and there were few conversation we were talking around shiva consciousness and i just felt like i met shiva consciousness that's how the whole realization came towards the end not at the moment when we are talking we are just like you know jesus challenges us that when i will be next to you i will make sure that you will not recognize me so that's how every master they come they give messages and they go back but it's it it's a universal plan you know and the energies will speak later on because i had to drive because i had few so many affairs to take care the moment i sat in fly, flight all that conversation it made sense who that energy was what that energy was and i how deeply like there was big reason a purpose we got connected although we may not meet next time ever but the change that i had to happen within me it happened in that moment and that is like receiving unconditional love who we don't know like is talking casually uh, you know and like master speaks in very few words so that kind of conversation it was and uh, so that is how we concluded and in the five days so much energies we gathered because of the time also the full moon and the summer solstice they were different like uh, all of a sudden yesterday i was uh, reading this book uh, ascension uh, susan's uh, book ascension and in that book uh, the first thing uh, i opened the book and i saw baba ji and his story and the second thing i was reading and i was like getting shocked like this is talking about Man mount shasta so if you go to mount shasta you will meet ascended masters so it's the land of uh, ascended master and the second one is the rayon tetan uh, one uh, that you shared hmm. shirisha maybe we have to go together there <laughs> so um, definitely like i had no it expectation called tetan retreat wyoming ah wyoming right i am like already mesmerized yesterday because i read about those two places in usa it's full of energies is ascended master's place and you only go there when you are called how much ever you plan it won't work out yeah i i was uh, plan i mean mount shasta is calling me from last 3 years so this month i'm going <laughs> great uh, you will have great experience just to be open and uh, i mean things are just happening there we just have to be like he said right we are in the receiving mode that's what he said his first lesson was to be in receiving mode Yeah, and then Saroja Madam mentioned. Uh, she said uh, for next six months she will get downloads. No, not just she. 
whoever went with along with the group all people will receive downloads from next 6 months that's how it happened yesterday like uh, all of a sudden i was doing something and i got a sudden energy and like i was thinking should i go bath and should i stay should i go bath should i stay and then i stayed because i couldn't open my eyes and then uh, what happened that i was looking at that ascension book so like i i just got that word that i need to get uh, uh, read that book and i i ordered that book while while i went in trance for 2 hours i had no time realization what book what is the name of the book ascension ascension yeah let me share hmm. this uh, video uh, this author of the book ascension Su susan susan something so i i started reading it and what i see is uh, it's uh, for um the ascended masters uh, journey their life lifetimes and hmm. one more thing sirisha when you go to this mountain the only thing you have to be is a state of love that's it you don't have to be in any state you will come there where in whatever state you will be you will come there you know to come to heal the earth it can be the oh, heal that which keeps us apart heart to heart and hand in hand is how we'll heal the wounded lands brothers and sisters parts of the one our true work has now begun for the ancestors yet to come to heal the earth it can be done to heal the earth we must be one spirit to spirit and heart to heart is how we'll heal that which keeps us apart heart to heart and hand in hand is how we'll heal the wounded land brothers and sisters part of the one our true work has now begun for the ancestors yet to come to heal the earth it can be done to heal the earth we must be one third time spirit to spirit and heart to heart is how we'll heal that which keeps us apart heart to heart and hand in hand is how we'll heal the wounded lands brothers and sisters parts of the one our true work has now begun for the ancestors yet to come to heal the earth it can be done to heal the earth we must be one we must be one we must be one, must be one. so that's the message to all of us and uh,